Hi, I'm Paige, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to teach children how to sew. Those two little cuties are my daughters. Their ages are eight and five, and I've taught them how to sew from as early as they were interested, which was pretty early just because they've always seen me sew. So I'm gonna take some of the things that I've learned, techniques, strategies, and share them with you. And I break down all of those into age groups, starting at toddlers, and then we're going to have a little kid stage, big kids, and then finally preteens. All of the techniques in those stages kind of build upon one another, but you can start anywhere, at any age, at any skill level, whatever your kids are ready for and you know them best. So do what they're ready for and let me break down all of the steps for you. Now we're going to start with the toddler years, and this is kind of an introduction to needles. And the first stage does not have to do with a real needle. We're gonna use a lace and trace kit. And these just kind of give you a little shape to follow along the border with your string and your needle. We're not gonna use an actual needle, but this comes with a shoelace. And for little fingers that do not need to be poked, we can just use the plastic side of a lace and they can kind of get that technique of sewing without actually having to do anything that could potentially poke them. And you can teach actual stitches with this as well. So for this, you can do a running stitch, which is just gonna go back and forth and it's not gonna wrap around the outside or you can wrap around the outside and this would be a whip stitch. So you can teach them both of those techniques and have them practice just tracing around a shape. And you can also practice color matching if you want to ask them to match the colors. You can discuss what the colors are. You can do contrasting colors. This toy is recommended for ages three and up, and you can use your parental discretion to determine if your child is ready to use it or not. Um, I think it's fairly safe. The strings can be a bit long. You can also shorten them if you want to by just cutting them with a pair of scissors. I think this kit is a really fun, play-based way to teach hand-eye coordination and just the, the mechanism of making a hand stitch. Our next kit for the toddler stage is just a little simple needle point kit. And the point of the kit isn't necessarily that they're going to make this perfect piece of art because it's not going to be like this when they first are introduced. You're gonna have, you know, a lot of creative expression, but the point of this is to introduce the plastic needle. So it's their first needle experience but it's not going, it's not so rigid that, you know, it's super dangerous. It's pointy, but it's, you know, it's not going to cause any harm when they poke their fingers. It's just a little plastic needle introduction. So let's open up this kit and see what's inside. All right, so in the kit, you have this little instruction paper, which you guys can read together, your plastic needle. This one is a little bit more flexible and fine than this one. And you can buy different plastic needles in the craft section of a craft store if you want a particular thickness of the needle. It comes with all of the yarns you're going to need. This is how it comes bundled up and you just unloop it and it looks like this. And you'll be able to just pull the color you want out and it comes with this little frame for this plastic canvas. So the plastic canvas on this kit is already colored. I've had ones like this that my daughter is working on from the dollar store where it does not have the design on it at all and you actually have to draw it on. So look for one that has it already painted on. It makes it a lot easier. So a couple things that they're going to learn with a kit like this for sewing is that they need to be managing their yarn. And what I mean by that is in order to do the design, you know, they're going to be going across like this. 
And sometimes children are going to want to keep doing the same motion and what they're going to get is their string wrapped around the outside of it. And there's a lot of times that you're going to have to go and say, okay, now let's go through the back again. And you're going to need to instruct them on just that repetitive motion to get the appropriate stitch that they want. Another thing that's going to happen often is that they're going to pull it and they're going to continue pulling and it's not going to pull through here. They're going to pull the yarn off the needle and little fingers have a hard time getting the yarn back through. So you're going to have to do this a lot, just threading your yarn through that. And what they're going to learn is that they need, when they're pulling it, they need to put that yarn or thread between their fingers to where it stops pulling. And that's another thing that you're going to be training in this stage is just managing a thread on a needle. You don't necessarily have to start with a design because that can be overwhelming and complicated for the younger children. So you can get plastic canvas that are different colors, give them, you know, a little tassel of yarn and just let them go crazy and just practice. And they're going to learn to translate what they're trying to do with what the yarn is actually doing within the plastic canvas. So it's just a really cool way for them to experiment. You can give them little guidelines with a Sharpie if you draw on it. So the goal for the toddler years is just basically needle management and practicing the technique of using it, whether it's with a shoelace or a plastic needle and yarn. So now that we're going to be in the little kid stage, this is for kids that are about five to seven. This stage is all about creativity, but the attention span isn't huge and patience level isn't huge. So you want small manageable projects for this stage. And the first thing I'm going to recommend is kind of practicing embroidery, which is sort of working with what we were before in the toddler years with plastic canvas, but we're going into cloth and we're going to be introducing metal needles. So the place to start that I would say is best for the younger side is to pick Ada cloth, which is a loosely woven fabric. It's kind of rigid and it has little holes in it. And it's kind of makes like a grid system and you can get small blunt metal needles that will go and work through this fabric really well. And they can just push it through nice and easily and they can kind of see what they're doing and you can draw on it, all of that. And then for the thread they're going to be using, I like this pearl cotton because it's kind of tightly wound together. Whereas embroidery floss is six strands and it's a little bit more difficult to work with for younger children. So I like the pearl one cause it's just tighter. It doesn't make knots as easy and there's all different kinds of colors. You can let them pick their favorite color. So you get them this little homemade kit with a blunt needle, a hoop, thread, and some Ada cloth. And then they can just come up with any design they want to, or they can follow a design. One thing I would like to share about these embroidery hoops is the material difference. So this is bamboo and this one is plastic. I think the plastic ones are more slippery and they're just a little more difficult to work with. The fabric kind of slips through them and the bamboo holds fabric really well. So given a choice, I'll always pick bamboo over plastic. So here are a few things that my children have made in this stage with these things. So this is a work in progress, a little cross stitch of Pooh Bear and Piglet and eventually there will be more in here. Some things like this where the fabric already has a design on it and they just trace it or accentuate certain things they want in there. This is something my daughter made for Easter, a little happy Easter design. So she drew it with washable marker and then stitched it and she made a tiny little Santa. <laughs> I love this one. It's so cute. One of the first embroidery things that my oldest daughter did when she was four was 
this little uh, lollipop and I took the piece of fabric after she was done and incorporated it into this pillow. So all of their little cute designs you can you can make into something fun to where they can have their work displayed like this. This is just a really fun stage for creativity and you get to be creative in coming up with ways to display the things that they make. The next thing that I recommend, I personally did not buy for my girls. I let them jump straight to the next stage, but they have kits just like this that have pre-punched holes in felt. So it's a simplified version of a felt kit where they don't have to cut anything out. The holes are pre-punched, everything already matches, and they just build their own little stuffed animal. My first daughter jumped over that pre-cut kit and got something a little bit more advanced, which is what I recommend for the big kids stage, which is ages eight to 10. This is where sewing kits are gonna be introduced. You can build them yourself or you can buy one like this kit right here, where they're just going to get supplies and instructions to be able to make their own thing. And what you're going to get out of this in the early years is something like this. This is one of my treasures. My daughter made this for me, my own little cat, and this you may have seen sitting in my sewing area in one of my sewing videos. This is my little cat that she made with her kit. The silhouette was pre-cut, but everything else she just came up with on her own and I just think it's so cute. So you're gonna get things like this treasure out of a kit like this. Let's see what's inside of this one. So it's their first little sewing box. And when I was a little girl, my mom had a sewing box that had all of her sewing supplies and I loved rummaging through it and coming up with things. So this is an introduction to that. So they're gonna have an instruction booklet that just tells them what to do and gives them templates for each of the little characters in here. They get a little bit of stuffing. They have little clips and buttons and trim and markers. The needles in this kit are sharp, but they're still a little bit thicker. So by this point, they can handle a sharp needle and they'll get all these fun things. There's a little pair of scissors and they have all sorts of little embroidery threads in this kit, special felts, and a whole stack of all sorts of colors of felt. So they're just going to come up with all sorts of creative fun things with a kit like this. And once they start working through this kit and you get little things from the store for different projects or different ideas they have or special buttons they want to pick, their own sewing kit is going to develop over time. So my daughter's kit is this one. It has stickers and it has all sorts of things. So she's working on her unicorn, so it has that in it. She has a little thread box and there's buttons and a thimble and a tape measure. And she has her own little tomato with pins and lots of fun little project things in here. She's working on a quilt, so she has the start of her quilt in here. And it's really fun to see this stage kind of as they develop the, their interests in their projects. So their kit will develop over time. Another thing for the big kids that I recommend is a book actually. So it's a story it's lessons, it's projects, all in one. This book right here, the Mary Frances Sewing Book. In this book, the sewing tools are the characters and they kind of teach this little girl how to sew and she has different projects and techniques and all these different things that she learns how to do. And there's actual project things in the back of the book for 18 inch dolls, like American Girl dolls or the Target or Walmart dolls. All of the, the outfits in this book work for them. And they can copy these out on paper and make the projects with all of the techniques that they learn inside of the book. And now we're at the preteen stage, which is 11, 12 plus years old. 
This is when we are going to start kind of really getting a robust sewing kit for them where they are, they're just coming up with projects they want to do and they can execute the projects pretty much by themselves. So this is where you're going to just equip them with tools that help them in what they're trying to do. And one of the things is a sewing machine. You can introduce a sewing machine at many different ages. I got my first sewing machine at 13. I was very excited and very ready for it. I gave this to my daughter when she was seven and I still get nervous when she's using this. So, you know, I'm sitting nearby. Every time we turn it on, I give her a little lesson to keep her fingers away from the needle because I don't want I don't want her finger getting punctured by the needle. So give a sewing machine when you're ready and when they're ready. That's what I'll say about that. You can get a basic sewing machine like this one that's pretty much just all mechanical. You're still gonna be able to set your tension and you have a variety of stitches, but you know, you're controlling the needle with your foot or this wheel. This is my sewing machine and it's computerized so it just has a little bit more advanced features where you can, you know, press a button instead of mechanically reversing your stitch, you're pressing a button or setting your needle down or up um, and so on. You're going to have a lot more stitches with this. So you pick what they're ready for or if they're buying it, they can pick what they're ready for. And to go with the sewing machine, you'll need to get some thread. You can get a little variety pack with all sorts of colors, or you can just choose colors specific to the projects. And you'll need a pair of scissors. You're gonna have a pair of scissors that is solely dedicated to fabric and fiber. So threads, yarns. These are not gonna cut anything with wire or cardboard, paper, they're dedicated solely to fabric, and then they can have a pair of scissors that are their paper scissors or cutting Velcro or just anything that is going to dull the scissors. This is what that pair is for. And I have a full video dedicated to sewing scissors and what I recommend, so I will link that below the video as well. Something else that you can get them if they're doing a lot of projects with long straight cuts is a cutting mat and an acrylic ruler and a rotary cutter. A rotary cutter can be really dangerous just because when the guard is off and you're going along cutting, you can just slice your hand or your fingertips. So the ruler, if you have something that's wider like this and you keep your hands far away from that straight edge and maintain control, you're not going to get any cuts on your fingers. So. If they're old enough and ready, then I would recommend this for specific projects. They come in different sizes, and when you pull the guard back, it exposes the blade, and when you push it forward, it's not, you're not able to access the blade anymore. Down below the video, I'll link to my Amazon storefront where I have all sorts of sewing basics listed, and I also have some sewing books, and I think this book would be a really great resource to give a young sewer that wants to learn more about it and dive into different topics. This will answer a lot of questions and have a lot of solutions for any problems that you run into. I'll have some of my sewing tutorials linked below this video that I think would be really good projects for those years where they're sewing on their own and wanting to just learn and gain knowledge through projects. So check those out if you're interested. And that wraps up all of my recommendations for teaching kids how to sew from as early as two years old to 11 in the preteen stage and beyond. I wish you all happy sewing with your families. And if you like this video, you can let me know by clicking the like button down below or leaving a comment. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, you can click subscribe and the bell alert next to it to be notified anytime that I post a video. As always, go get creative and make something you love with your kids. Bye.